before you opened the door. No such a thing. You did too. You heard my voice, you know it was me. I heard the voice talking rumbly along with Aunt Ella. And I heard someone singing like a bullfrog <laughs> in a pond. Well, good mind not to ask you to the box social. If you did ask me, I wouldn't go with you. Besides, how'd you take me? You ain't bought a new buggy with red wheels onto it, have you? Oh, I am. A spanker team with the bridles all jingling. No. Expect me to ride behind old Dunn, I guess. You better ask that old Collins girl you took such a shine to. Or cross the river. If I was to ask you, there'd be a way to take you, Miss Lori Smarty. Oh, they would.
grab her and kiss her when she acts that way. She's just aching for you to, I'll bet. I won't even speak to him, let alone allow him to kiss me. The bragging, bow-legged, wish she had a sweetheart, Bob. <laughs> oh, she likes you. <laughs> Quite a lot. Like me and Marsha, sick the dogs out of me. <laughs> There's a crowd of folks coming down from Bushyhead for the back social. Cody said maybe you'd loan us your big wagon to bring him up to the station. Of course I would, if he'd asked me. Oh. Well, I gotta talk about a lot of other things. I'll go hit your tea nap, see it's all right. See what we brought in there? Just like this. You get a good look at it, you turn it up, up around at the top, and the bitcher takes it! Oh, well, I'll be sidekated! They call it a little wonder, right?
no mind of it till last year. Kind of a was all scrawny and flat as bean pole. And then I kind of rounded up a little. And now the boys act different to me. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing's wrong. I like it. I like it so much when a feather talks part of me. I get all shaky from hard to hook. Don't you? I can't think what you're talking about. <clears throat> Don't you feel kind of sorry for a feather when he looks at you? Like he wants to kiss you. Well, you just can't go around kissing every man that asks you to. Didn't anybody ever tell you that? Yeah, they told me. It ain't so much a question of not knowing what to do. I know it's right and wrong since I was ten. I hear a lot of stories, and I reckon they are true. About how girls are put upon. Just as good. Just as good. It's got to be a thousand million times better. Oh. oh, my, oh, my, Miss Lori. 
Chippity click is how you grow up. The last time I come through here, you are shook with freckles. Now look at you. A great big beautiful lady. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a bite me. If you ain't had no breakfast, go get yourself a green apple. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I ain't trying it ever. Don't call me Aunt Ella, you little what? I'm mad at you. No, don't go and be mad at me. Ain't I said I'd get you a present? Oh. Oh, something nice to wear. Oh, foot, I got things for the wear. I wouldn't have it. Well, what is it? Oh. <laughs> well, silk made in Persia. Oh, now what I want with the whole Persian oh, garden? Oh, party it on, folks. Oh, 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 no, I'll try it on. All right, I'll try it on. Hold out your foot. <laughs> Did you have the idea I was gonna let you slide that garter off my lip? Oh, grab on to my petticoats, Lori. Funny woman. Be much worse if I tried to take her garters off her. Yeah, because that'd make your stockings fall down, wouldn't it? Now give me the other one. Which one? Oh. You want to buy this one to match. What do you mean, do I want to buy it? I can let you have it for 50 cents, four bits. Do you want me to get that egg beat up and ram it down your windpipe? Oh. All right, all right. Don't anybody want to buy anything? How about you, Miss Lottie? You must be wanting something, a pretty young girl like you. Me? Of course I want something. want things I've heard of but never had before. Rubber tied buggy, cut glass sugar bowl, all things I can't tell you about. Not only things to look at and hold in your hand, things that happen to you. Things so nice that if they did happen, your heart would quit beating. You'd fall down dead. I have just the thing the elixir of Egypt. What's that? Smelling salts. Ah, but a special kind of smelling salts. Read what it says on the label. Take a deep breath of this, and everything becomes clear. That's what the Pharaoh's daughter used to do with it. Why, when she had a hard problem to decide, like, what prince she ought to marry, or what dress she ought to wear to a party, or whether she ought to cut off somebody's head, she would take a whip of this. Oh, little stick. I'll take a bottle of that, Mr. Pedler. Ooh, precious stuff. How much? Two bits. Throwing away your money helps you decide what no. to do. Now, wouldn't you like me to show you some pretty doodads? You know, with frills around the bottom and all. Ooh. You mean fancy drawers. All made in Paris. Ooh. Well, I never wear that kind myself. But I sure do like to look at them. Oh, mm -hmm. oh these are right. It can't go no place. <laughs> Bring your trappings inside. Maybe I can find something for you to wear. Eat and drink. Well, ask him why, don't you? Alec, hmm? Mace and Laura's been having an argument. Oh, about what, baby? About what she meant when you said that about travel with me to the end of the world. Well, I didn't exactly mean the end of the world. Well, then how far do you want to go? Well, about as far as, say, Calermo. To the hotel? Hmm? What's at the hotel? Why, in front of the hotel, there's a veranda. And inside, a lobby. And upstairs, oh, upstairs might be paradise. I thought there was just bedrooms. For you and me, baby, paradise. You see, I knew I was round Laura's wrong. Uh -huh. You do want to marry me, don't you? Oh, I know, I know. Oh. What did you say? I said you do want to marry me, don't you? What'd you say? I yeah. didn't say nothing. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> this wheel popper. You know what I you fight? Fight. Me, you fight it. I fight? I don't look mad. I only fight my friends. <laughs> Well, not always, friend. I've got another brother. He's only got one wife. 
He's a bachelor. <laughs> now look, Will. Look, Will, look. You know what I got for first prize at the fair? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Well, that's good. Fifty dollars? Yeah, John. Your pa promised I could marry if I could get fifty dollars. That's right. Hey, dude. You know what I don't at all? Spend it all on presents. For you. But if you spend it, then you ain't got the cash. What I got is worth more than the cash. The fellow sold me the stuff, told me. Oh, look, Will. Look, Will, nothing. When do I get little, little kids? Oh, you know, Annie, honey, you ain't been off my mind since I left. All the time, even in the fairgrounds, even when I was chasing steers. Why, I'd rope one under the hooves and pull him up sharp. And he'd lay on his little rump. Then I think of you. Oh, don't start talking party, Will. Seen a lot of beautiful gals in Kansas City. Didn't give them one look. Well, how could you see me if you didn't give them a look? I mean, I didn't look loving at them. Like I look at you. Oh, Will, don't you look at me that way. I can't bear it. Won't stop looking at you like this till you give me one little old kiss. Oh, what's a little old kiss? Well, nothing. Unless it comes from you. Oh, you do talk party. No! No, I won't! Suppose that I say that your lips are like cherries or roses or berries. What you gonna do? Can't you feel my heart a palpitating and a thumping? Waiting for something, something nice from you. I gotta get a kiss, and it's gotta be quick, or I'll jump in a crick in the Hear me say, never gonna think that the man 
Change your mind? No chance. Then my heart is busted in two. Oh, Ellie, you do make a perfect place to say. That you, Amy? Hello, Paul. <laughs> what you been shooting? Rabbit. True, what I hear about Will Parker getting fifty dollars? That's right, Paul. And he's gonna hold you to your promise. That's too bad. Still and all, I can't go back to my word. I advise you to get that money from him before he loses it all. Put it in your stocking or inside your corset where he can't get at it. <laughs> or can he? But you say, Pa, he ain't, he, he ain't exactly can't He spent it all on presents. See, what did I tell you? Now he can't have you. I said it had to be $50 cash. But Mr. Carnes, who in the hell are you? This is Allie Hankins. Well, shut your face and I'll fill you behind so full of buckshot, you'll be walking around like a duck the rest of your life. Allie, if I don't have to marry Will, then maybe your heart don't have to be busted in two like you said. Oh, I did not say that. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I did not. Are you trying to make my daughter out to be a liar? No, I'm just making clear what a liar I am if she's telling the truth. What else you been saying to my daughter? Oh, an awful lot. When? Last night, in the moonlight. Where? Alongside a haystack. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Khan, I'm listening. What else did you say? He calls me his Persian kitten. Why'd you call her that? I don't remember. I do. He called me his Persian kitten because they's the cats with the soft, round tails. <laughs> that's enough! Yes. It's part of the country that better be a proposal of marriage. Well, that's what I thought. That what you think? Mr. Carnes. I'm a lover. I'm no good. I'm a peddler. A peddler he travels up and down and all around. Why, you'd never see your daughter anymore. That'd be all right. <laughs> Take care of her, son. Take care of my little rosebud. Oh, Paul, that's party. Are you sure for certain you can bear to let me go, Paul? Are you sure, Mr. Carnes? You just try to change my mind and see what happens to you. Oh, well. Ain't it wonderful, Paul, making up our minds for us? And he won't change me. Once he gives his word that you can have me, why, you got me! Oh, I know. I've got you. Mrs. Allie Hankin, the peddler's bride. Oh, wait till I tell the girls! <laughs> Go. 
night with me till the stars fade from above. Is right with me. Tell that Judd fella, you'd rather go with me tonight? Curly, I... No, I couldn't. Oh, you couldn't? You gonna go down to the smokehouse, see what's so elegant about this Judd fella. These girls wanna go to parties with him. Curly! What? Nothing. You can open it, can't you? Howdy. What do you want? Well, I done finished my business up the house. Thought I'd pay a car. You got a gun, I see. Gooden. Colt 45. What do you do with it? Shoot things. Oh. Hey, that's their picture. That's a naked woman there. Yeah, eyes don't lie to you. It's a nice looking lump you got there. It's a nice hook you got there. You know, Judge, you can hang yourself on that. I can what? Hang yourself. He's easy as falling off the log. What do you mean by that? Then folks come around to your funeral, sing sad songs? Yeah. They would. Never know how many people like you unless you're dead first. <laughs> yeah, probably laid out in the pilot. Decked out in your best suit, with your hair comb slicked back, high starch collar. The beanie flowers, do you think? Sure would. Palms, too, all around your coffin. The folks would stand around, men would bow their heads, women sniffle softly. Some of them probably faint, ones that took a shine to you when you was alive. <clears throat> what woman ever took a shine to me? Well, lots of women. Only they never come right out and tell you unless you're dead first. <laughs> Guess that's so. Yeah, they sure would sing loud, though, when the singing started. Sing like the hearts are great. Poor Judd is dead. Poor Judd Fry is dead. All gather around this coffin now and cry. He had a heart of gold, and he wasn't very old. Oh, why did such a feller get up and he'd say, folks, we are gathered here to moan and groan over our brother Judd Fry, who hung himself up by a rope in the smokehouse. And they'd be weeping and wailing. Some of them women, 
Then he'd say, Jug was the most misunderstood man in the territory. People used to think he was a mean, ugly fella. They called him a dirty skunk and an angry pig stealer. But the folks that really know him know that beneath them two dirty shirts he always wore. Their feet are hard as pig is all outdoors. As pig is all outdoors. But Fry loved his fellow man. He loved his fellow man. He loved the birds of the forest and the beasts of the field. He loved the mice and the vermin in the barn. And he treated the rats like equals. It was right. He loved little children. He loved everybody and everything in the world. Only he never let on, so nobody ever knew it. Poor John is dead. Poor John. Interesting funeral. Wouldn't want to miss it. Wouldn't want to miss it. Well, maybe you will. Maybe you'll go first. Yeah, you told me what business you had here. We ain't got no cattle selling on no cow ponies. Your crops didn't spoke for. Well, you rest my mind considerable. There's only one other thing on this farm you could want, and it better not be that. That's just what it is. It better not be. You keep away from her, you hear me? You know, somebody ought to tell Lori what sort of man you had. For that matter, somebody ought to tell you once about yourself. You better get out of here, Curly. You know, a fellow wouldn't feel very safe in here if he didn't know you. But I know you, Judd. In this country, there's two things you can do if you're a man. Live outdoors is one. Live in a hole is the other. To do something healthy once in a while instead of saying, shut up here, crawling in a fester. <laughs> oh, well, you ought to feel better now. You're a little hot on the roof, though. Wish you'd let me show you something. You see that knot hole over there about as big as a dime? You see the winking? I just want to see if I can hit it. What was that? I threw the knot hole without touching it. Slick as a whistle. You know what I can do it? You see me. Somebody's coming, I expect. Well, I shot once. Well, what was you shooting at? You see that knot hole right over there? I see a lot of knot holes. <laughs> well, it was that one. Well, ain't you a pair of pearly nothings, a picking away at knot holes and scaring everybody to death? Oh, so why? Nobody's hurt. Just a pair of fools swapping noises. Mind if I visit you, gents? It's nice to get away from the women for a while. <laughs> now that we're all by ourselves, I got a few pudders, knickknacks for the show you. Special for men folk. Well, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I gotta go get a surrey I hired for tonight. Our postcards. Who do you think you're taking in that surrey? Ann Eller. Ann Lloyd shall go with me. She won't. 
Maybe she will. She promised she'd go with me, and she better not change her mind. She better not. Now, I'd like you to take a look at these. They're straight from Paris. Don't want none of them things. Stick them things. You got any fraud stickers? You mean one of them long knives? Well, what would you want with a thing like that? I don't know. Kill me a hog. A skunk. It's all the same, ain't it? I'll tell you what I want better if you got one. You ever hear one of those things you call the little wonder? It's the thing you hold up to you to see pictures. Only that's not all there is to it, not quite. It's got this little jig out to it, and you chitch it, and out it springs a sharp blade. On a spring, eh? Yeah, you see the fella look through this. Then when he's looking, you chitch it, it's just above his chest and bangs <laughs> down your car. <laughs> a good joke to play on a friend. <laughs> I don't deal with things like that. A little dangerous. What I'd like you to see is my new collection of postcards. Don't want them things. Sick of them things. I'm gonna get me a real woman. You want a real woman? Huh. Do you know a girl named Ado Annie? I don't want her. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> but I've got her. Don't want nothing from no peddler. What am I doing sitting here crawling in a festering like the fella says? What am I doing in this lousy smokehouse? The door squeaks, the door squeaks, and a field mouse is nibbling on a broom. And I sat by myself like a cobweb on the shelf, by myself in a lonely but when there's a moon in my winter and it slants down a beam across my bed, then the shadow of a tree starts a dancing on the wall and the tree starts a dancing in my ear. Then all the things that I wished for turn out like I want them to be. And I'm better than that.
it's time we start for the party.
I'll give you a lot of money, as much as fit. Well, a lot. Let's see. <laughs> nice hot water bottle. <laughs> Looks French. I'll give you eight dollars. Eight dollars? Well, that won't be honest. It only cost me three fifty. All right, eight dollars, and that is it. Ooh, nice cracker jack. Hey, take your hands off that. That was for our wedding. Well, it don't fit you so good. <laughs> I'll give you twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two. All right, twenty-two. But it's only not so far. Let's see. Ooh. A uh, nice ankle brace. <laughs> well, them, th those is for her to wear. Well, I didn't hardly think it was for you. <clears throat> I'll give you uh, $15. $15? Yes, now let's see now. $15 and $42.50. Yeah, that's $45.50. $45.50? Say, that's almost, that's, one of anything else? But, ever seen one of these? What made you go and buy that? You got it in for somebody. What, what do you mean? mean? Just funny pictures. All right, everybody, where's that teller? They went out on the other side of the house, Lori. Lori, where'd you run to? I'm asking you for this thing. Oh, uh, I don't do any things like that. I don't think you know what that really is. Well, what it's do you mean? Just a girl of keeping tight. Did you see it's Lori? You? Yeah, she just went around the other side of the house. Judd. The auction's going on there. Hey, Judd, I got one of them things you're looking for. The little wonder. How much? Three fifty. It's a lot of money. But I got an idea it might be worth it. Ooh. Let's see. Three fifty from him and four to five fifty from you. That makes fifty dollars, don't it? Nope. One dollar short. No. Must have scared wrong. Mm. How much for the rest of the stuff in this bag? One dollar. Done. <laughs> now we got fifty dollars. Know what that means? Means I'm gonna take Gator and it back from you. Oh, you wouldn't do that to me? Oh, wouldn't I? Oh. And once your Paul finds out who I got most of the money off of, maybe he'll change his mind about who's smart. You's dumb. Woo! <laughs> yes, young fella, you certainly bump code me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two fifty. 
All right. Three dollars. Good. And two bits. Come on. Three dollars and four bits. All right. Come four dollars. And two bits. Four seventy-five. Anybody got a bid more? I got a bid of four seventy-five from Judge Fry. Are you gonna let him have it? Come on. Come on. Four eighty-five. Four eighty-five. Go. Four ninety-five. Four ninety-five. Oh, come on, gentlemen. Schoolhouse ain't built yet. Got to get a nice chimney. Five dollars. All right, five dollars. Go and in. two bits. Come on. Can't afford no more. Too rich for my blood. Four and a quarter. Oh, but that ain't nearly enough yet. Not for cold duck with stuffing and that lemon meringue pie. Come on. Six dollars. Six dollars. Go in. Two bits. Ma, you're stubborn, Judd. Mr. Combs is a richer man than you. And I know he likes raspberry custard. Anybody going to bid anymore? Come no, on. they all dropped out. Can't you see? Oh, come on. Got enough, man. No, yeah, let's beat them. Here's the money. the money. Hold on, you. I ain't said going, going, well, gone sing yet. It. Going to Judge Fry. Six dollars and two bits. Going. Going. What'd you say it was getting low? Judge Fry. For how much? Six and a quarter. I don't figure that's quite enough. You? It's more than you got. I got a saddle. Cost me thirty dollars. Can't fit saddle. It's got to be cash. Thirty dollar saddle must be worth something to somebody. Why, give me ten dollars for it. You got cash? Right here in my pocket. Curly, don't be a fool. You can't make a living without your saddle. Not waste no time. How high you going? How are you no matter what? Hey, Ellen. I'm gonna bid all this here ten dollars time just give me. Ten dollars, go in, go Ten dollars and two bits. Curly. Most of you boys know my horse done. Kind of a nice horse. Gentle, no broke. Curly, please don't sell Dunn. It ain't worth it. I'll buy Dunn from you. I'll give you 25 for it. I'll sell you Dunn. That makes a bit of $35, Aunt Ella. Curly, you're crazy. But it's all for the schoolhouse, ain't it? All for learning and education. Going for $35. Going Hold on. I ain't finished bidding yet. You just put up everything in the world, didn't you? Can't bid your clothes, because they ain't worth nothing. Can't bid your gun, because you're going to need that. Yes, sir, you're going to need that bad. So, Aunt Ella, I guess I'm just as reckless as Curly McLean, I guess. Just good at getting what I want. Put up everything I've got in the world. All I saved for doing two years of farm work. All for Lori. Here it is, $42.31. Anybody want to buy a gun? How about you, Tom? On a brand new last Thanksgiving. Worth a lot. Curly, please don't sell your gun. Well, I give you $18. So. Well, Aunt Ellen, that makes it bid $53. Anybody going any higher? Going, going, gone. What's the matter with you folks? Ain't you gonna cheer or nothing? Who <laughs> wants the bid? But the bidding was fair. Come on, farmer, shake the car man's hand. Sure, I'll shake hands. No hard feelings, Curly. That's better. Hey, Curly, I'm gonna show you something. Excuse us, Lloyd. You ever see one of these things? Just what is it? Just put it up to your eye. Curly! <gasps> what you doing? Doing nothing. You want to scare the living daylight out of Well, like quit it. looking at them old French pictures. And ask me for a dance. You brung me to the party, didn't you? Sure, I didn't, crazy right. old woman. I'll dance with you. Right. Dance you all over the meadow if you want. <laughs> $50. Now you name the date. August 15th, 
15th. August 15th? Why August 15th? Because that was the first day that I was kissed. Really? I don't remember that. You wasn't there. <laughs> now look at here, Ada. Now that we're engaged and all, we gotta have ourselves a serious talk. I mean, you gotta stop having fun <laughs> with other fellas. You'll have to be a little more standoffish.
to talk to you. What made you slap the whip on old lady and nearly make her run away? What was your hurry? Afraid we'd be late for the party. You didn't want to be with me by yourself. Not a minute more than you had to. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm here with you by myself now, ain't I? You wouldn't have been if you could have got out of it. Mornings you stay heat up in your room. At night you sit in the front room and won't get out of Ellis' sight. Last time I seen you was in the winter, with the snow six inches deep in drifts when I was sick. Bring me that hot soup out to the smokehouse and give it to me. I'm in bed. Hadn't shaved in two days. You asked me about a fever and you put your hand on my head to see. I uh, remember. Do you? I bet you don't remember as much as me. I remember everything you ever done. Every word you ever spoke. Can't think of nothing else, see? Ah! I ain't good enough, am I? I'm a hard hand, got dirt under my hands. Pig slop, ain't finna touch you. You're better, you're so much better. We'll see who's better, Miss Lloyd. Then we'll show for free with your hands. You're such a fine lady. You're making threats to me. You think so much about being a hard hand. Well, I'll just tell you something that'll rest your brain, Mr. Judd. You ain't a hard hand for me no more. You can just pack up your duds and scoot. No, I got a better idea than that. You ain't come on the place again, you hear me? So just say, throw it on yourself. Can't help it. Can never rest. I told you the way it was. You wouldn't listen.
is it by here, baby? Can she oh. stay huh? to drink curry and lorry? Oh. No, 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 it's time for the lonely gypsy to get back in the open road. Yes, Wish I was gone. Then you went by so lonely. Oh. Now, Edo, there's a man I know who loves you. Like nothing loves nobody. Hmm? Yes, Ellie? A man who will stick with you your whole life. And that man for you is Will Parker. Oh, oh yeah. I like Will Lark. Oh, of course you do. Why, he's a fine fellow. He's strong like an ox, young and handsome. I love him all right, I guess. Oh, of course you do. Why, you love those big brown eyes of his. And the way his mouth wrinkles up when he smiles. Do you love him too? <laughs> I love him because he'll make my Edo any happy. Come here, baby. <laughs> I'll show you how we say goodbye in my country. That was goodbye. We have an old saying in my country. One goodbye is never enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're going to marry such a wonderful man as that Will Parker. You deserve a fine man and you got one. <laughs> Woo! Uh, hello, Will. And hey, we wish you saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, I want you to say goodbye to you too. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I just saw the last one. <laughs> you were made for each other. <laughs> now, you be good to her, Will. And you be good to him. And if you don't mind, I'm a friend of the family now. But didn't she say he was going? Oh, yeah. Back on the open road. <laughs> the lonely gypsy. But I show you how we say goodbye in my country. Lucky <laughs> 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 fellow. I wish it was me she was marrying instead of you. <laughs> Don't seem to make no difference, hardly. Huh? <laughs> oh. Goodbye, baby. The lonely gypsy. Bye-bye. You ain't gonna think of that peddler anymore, are you? Of course not. I never think of nobody and this is with me. Then I'm never gonna leave your side. Even if you don't. Even if you never go away on a trip or nothing. Couldn't you just once in a while give me one of them Persian goodbyes? Persian goodbye? Hell, that ain't nothing compared to an Oklahoma hello. Start for Curly. Oh, he ain't been around for months. He's back. Seen him last night over in Claremore, drunk as a lord.
for me? Sure will. I'll have a hitch in a jiffy. Thank you. Back off! Yeah. Back off! Oh, you're gonna get mine, Curry Shivery. Oh, I wish you wanted. Oh, it's a good old custom. Never hurt nobody. You women just stay out of the way. Bamboo! Come on, fellas! Oh, oh, hey, don't feel so hard. It's like a golden wedding. But if you're married, you must have wanted to. Oh, of course I wanted to. The moment I saw the moon gleaming of her father's shotgun, I thought, it's better off to be alive. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ellie ain't gonna travel around no more. I decided he ought to stay in town and run Papa's store. Hey, Will, did you hear the news? Well, mighty glad to hear that, peddler man. Don't mind if I kiss the bride, do you? Round of the family and all. Oh, yes. Hey, Gertie, ever had yourself an Oklahoma hello? No! Oh, 